Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? Welcome, and in this video I am giving you the tour of my favorite ASIC shoes to use for racing all the way to everyday training runs. I decided I wanted to start from fastest to slowest, and before I get into the exact shoe review, I want to say this is not like an in-depth review on every single shoe. I think you can go to like Running Warehouse or Let's Run or any types of those websites, even ASICs.com, any of them would have basically the in-depth information, the heel to toe drop, the weight, all of that. I'm not really getting into the exact specifications, but I'm saying why I like the shoes, what I use them for, and basically to give you an arsenal of shoes you can use for your everyday training runs all the way up to racing. So I'm starting with the fastest shoe. This is the Metaspeed Sky, and this is, this is the reason I signed with ASICS. This is the reason I wanted to be with ASICS. As soon as I put this shoe on for racing, I raced it at 70.3 Boulder. I had basically my best ever 70.3 run, and I just fell in love with the shoe. I was racing in, I had been racing some in the other top brand that makes a competitive race shoe, and um, I was having some pretty severe instability problems, and so this really solved that stability issue, and it's incredibly responsive. I feel it's the, the best shoe if you're gonna have a uh, finishing sprint. We saw both gold Olympic medalists in this shoe. Basically, in short, I couldn't rave about this shoe enough. It's just the perfect shoe. It's soft, it's responsive, it's got cushioning, it's stable, it's everything I've ever dreamed about in a race shoe. So, yeah, I mean, this shoe, though, only really for racing or some key absolute workouts leading into a race to give you that confidence. The next category is kind of, it's like two categories, depending on the shoe you like, but it's basically for fast tempo runs or track workouts, and ASICS has this category and they're basically, it's called the Hyper Speed or the Magic Speed. And I use both of them, they're right here. They kind of look somewhat similar, so you almost can't tell the difference that much up close. But basically, this is the Magic Speed here. And this, it, this shoe has a carbon plate, and it's still got a fair amount of cushioning. It's basically the shoe right below their top race shoe, okay? So, it's more for everyday training though, it's a little heavier. Obviously the foam's not quite as responsive, but you'll get more durability out of it. So I've been loving this kind of for long tempo runs, some yeah, faster track workouts. It protects you a little bit more because of the, the extra cushioning and a bigger heel to toe drop. But I actually think I like the hyper speed more than this shoe. This is a very underrated shoe in the current market. I would compare this to, I used to run in the old like uh, Adidas, like the Boston or the Adios, it's almost in between those, but with kind of the new super age foam and new age shoes. So it's got this great heel to toe rocker, it's got a lower stack height, a slightly lower heel to toe drop, and in short, if you're going on track workouts, if you're running fast, if you want quick turnover, the shoe just flies and it's so stable, so it feels great underneath me. I use this a lot also for my my brick runs just because I like something that's a little bit more minimalistic. I think a lot of people these days are actually looking for a shoe like this without knowing they're looking for a shoe like this because I've seen the market, the market goes so much like we want more foam, we want more cushioning, we want higher heel to toe drop. But I became a good runner by running in shoes with low heel to toe drop. So I always like to come back to this and this is just such a great bread and butter shoe for really even any everyday run, but not like an easy run. You wanna have some type of good, you're shooting to run a decent pace, all the way up to solid track workouts, 200s on the track. I just used it yesterday for hard 300 meter repeats and was in love with it. So between, yeah, the hyper speed and the magic speed, I think those are two options you can get, depending on what you like for your fast runs. Um, the magic speed has more cushioning, it's a little more forgiving, but the hyper speed, is a little bit more responsive and lower stack height. So again, two great options. Uh, lots of people have been asking me saying like, does ASICS even make any other shoes other than the Metaspeed Sky? Like what shoes do you have for everyday training? And I'm like, tons. It was actually hard for me to narrow it down to the five I did. And now, okay, the next shoe, here it is. This is probably, this is now my all time favorite running shoe for training. This is called the Nova Blast. It's the Nova Blast 2. It's their second edition of the model. Um, I've nicknamed this shoe on my Strava, the Batman. So this is called the Batman shoe. Um, and part of that's just because I feel like this foam here, like it's got this really crazy texture to it that almost makes you feel like it would be like, yeah, I mean, these are the shoes the Batman drives in the Batmobile because yeah, they're just rad. But um, 
kind of opposite of the shoe I was just talking about, right? The hyperspeed. This shoe really has gone in the alt optimal cushioning, lots of cushioning. So I love this for long runs. I love this when I'm feeling beat up. I also love it for long tempos. And it's just a great combination of stability, but forgiving, but also fast. And you will feel fast in this shoe. And I've honestly used the shoe, yeah, for literally everything. I use it for easy runs when I'm feeling tired and I want extra cushioning. I use it for long, long runs when, yeah, I want extra cushioning, but also want to go fast. I've used it for tempo workouts. It, it, this is a bread and butter shoe. It will do absolutely anything you want for it, and it will do it exceptionally well, and it's exceedingly comfortable. So I couldn't rave about this shoe enough. Um, again, yeah, my all-time now favorite training shoe. So I use this kind of a lot. And finally, the last shoe, I wanted to get into one more model. Um, this I use, this is the EVO Ride 2. So it follows the same kind of idea. It's got a good rocker design. It's designed to help you find your natural stride and a more efficient stride in the way we're naturally supposed to run. So I view this as a shoe to help me learn to run better and have a better stride, better cadence. And this shoe I don't use for fast runs. I use this like for twice a week, usually my easier runs. There's usually strides at the end. And it's just kind of, uh, this is for my, this is my easiest. So this is the slowest shoe of all of these. And I still like to run in kind of a slower shoe. It's by no means considered a slow shoe. It's still uh, a pretty good, pretty darn fast shoe. But um, I just like it. Um, it fits my foot well. It seems to help my stride, help my cadence, and teach me to be a better runner. So those are kind of the five, the five options there of the ASIC shoes I would recommend. Um, I guess just another little piece of advice for people looking for shoes. Like, do not just go and buy one race shoe and then use that all the time. These carbon plated shoes, the foam wears out. You don't want to be putting more than like 60, 75 miles of racing on these shoes. Otherwise, they'll start to lose their efficiency. So you really want to buy, you know, the Meta Speed and keep it only for racing and maybe just for like you do three or four miles in it every now and then just to remember what it feels like to run in the race shoe so there's no surprises on race day. And then I would recommend getting, yeah, one of the fast tempo shoes to use on your hard workouts. I would recommend the Nova Blast. You just cannot skip on the Nova Blast. And if you're feeling up for a third shoe, I would get the EVO Ride 2 for your everyday training runs just to log those miles, have a shoe that you can use and abuse and put the everyday miles in so that that way you know your nova blast and either your magic speed or hyper speed feel feel really really great when you use it and you can get a lot of life out of it well that's all guys thanks so much a lot of information there pretty quick but please put in some comments some questions and let me know what you thought of this hey sam what is this you're wearing these are the shoes, these are the party shoes, man. But actually, no, these are called the Noosa Tri, and it's hard, so I wanted to narrow it down to five shoes. There's actually seven shoes I'm using from ASICS all the time, and this would be another one in that category. And also, this is definitely the shoe, they've got like 10 different models of this shoe, or 10 different color combos, and every single color combo is completely wild and crazy. So if you don't know, Noosa Tri, the Noosa Triathlon, it's in Noosa, Australia. Um, it used to be one of the biggest triathlons in the world. It still is one of the, the biggest non-draft Olympic races in the entire world. But actually, when I first graduated college, I went to Noosa. I graduated college and I told my parents, I said, Dad, I want to be a professional. I'm going to pursue being a professional. And he was like, well, what the heck, man? I just paid for your c c college degree. I want you to get like a serious job. And I said, and we basically signed this agreement. We had this agreement. And I said, give me till I'm 25. And if I haven't made it in triathlon, like I'll never think about it again and I will go and I will get a job and I will do that. And so I just turned 26 and I, I proved that I can have a viable career. So anyways, Noosa Tri, these shoes have a lot of memories. They're my starting point as a pro triathlete and also a dang good fast racing shoe. But I narrowed it down to my top five and this would be the top six. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Yeah.